Texas belong to you? It is the season. To be getting things back. In just a few hours you'll be home giving ornaments to your own kids. Home. Just a few hours. What? Why are we gonna keep talking about the past like... Like it's over, everything is fine. But it's not. Not yet. It's about me doubting you. No, Zach, I told you. I knew you would come for me, and you did. And what is it? Well, Aiden used our... our history against us. He used our past against us. And I, the fact that I've actually given you a reason to doubt me. We're beyond that now, right? Well, we're together now, but... what's done is done. Right. And as made us who we are. And since I love who you are, I'm okay with it. I just need to know that when this plane touches down, something new begins today. Not today. Yesterday. When I put that ring back on your finger, promise each other a lifetime together. That's what you gotta have. Come here. Mm -hmm. better i think the big guy upstairs is trying to send us a message no i doubt that not after everything we've been through this is your captain i apologize for the rough ride but we hit a doozy of a storm front and ground control informs me we can't go through it or around it for everyone's safety we're being diverted to the nearest airport so oh, come on. we won't be making it to pennsylvania <sighs> tonight Sorry, folks, but it looks like Mother Nature is ditching your holiday plans. Oh, come on. I can't believe it. I can't be right now. Well, I got the little guy settled in for a long winter's nap. So sorry we interrupted uh, whatever you're up to. <laughs> Don't be silly, Opal. All well, we were up to was hanging a wreath, that's all. Well... Now, to tell the truth, I couldn't have kept him away for another second. So excited they were. <laughs> oh, of course they are. They're so excited their mommy's coming home for Christmas. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know I can't take all the credit for her coming back, but it was my premonitions about Kendall that got that rescue rolling, and uh, now she is on her way back home. Excuse me. <laughs> well, this is Zach's number. I thought they were supposed to be, you know, in flight right now. Zach? Hello? Mom, hey, it's me. Oh, honey, hi, are you here? Did your plane come in early? Uh, sort of. We're in Ohio. We had a forced landing because of the storm. Oh, my God. Are you all right? We're fine, we're fine, we're good. It's just a little hectic right now. Well, honey, the boys are here, and they're so excited that you're coming home for Christmas. Or are you saying that you're not going to get home in time for Christmas? I'll get it home, I promise you. Oh, Zach, hi. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I'm going to rent a car and drive the rest of the way. Don't worry. Well, listen, don't, don't take any unnecessary chances or anything. Okay, whatever. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Mom, don't wait up for us. Well, now, honey, don't be silly. I'm going to wait up for you. I'm going to be here for as long as that drive takes. Okay. Well, kiss the boys for me. I love you. Bye. They're not getting in a car, are they? Well, they don't have any choice, Opal. They're, they're playing. You've got to call them back. Tell them they can't drive. Opal, please don't. No, you I, I, I mean start. it. I mean it. I have a very bad feeling about Kendall in a car. W why? What, 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 what is it? Well... All I know is that you got to tell them they cannot drive here. Hi. What's the matter? Is there anything I can do? It's very kind, but no. 
I'm his aunt. I was just bringing him home to see his mom for Christmas. Yeah, I guess this storm kind of put a crimp in all of our holiday plans. She's been in Iraq. She just got deployed home. But we can't get a car without a credit card, and mine's just been declined. Excuse me, there's, there's, there's a woman over there with her nephew, and, and they're both trying to get home for a family reunion just like we are. Pretty much anyone here is going to want no, that. No, Zach, we have to help them, please. Can we please help them? Next. Listen, you got to listen to me here. I had this strange, weird, really scary kind of dream, and, and the main um, character, I guess you'd say, and it was... A, a car but i woke up feeling so upset and now i'm thinking maybe you know that is a warning about kendall i just wish that you would call her and ask her to find another way home another way what other way I, 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 a train maybe or a, a bus oh paul it's christmas eve i'm sure that everything's already booked or snowed in but could you just try for me, please. Opal, Opal may, maybe, maybe you knew somehow that the plane wasn't going to make it all the way back to Pine Valley, and, and 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 you knew that a car was the only way for them to get home. You know, so the bad part of the dream, the bad feeling, was the fact that the plane was going to be forced to land, and the good part was that they had to take a car. Well, I guess you know that could make sense. You could be right, but I have been reading my dreams for a very long time, and I know uh, what I feel is what I feel. And I just wish that you would call her and at least tell him to be extra, extra careful. Would you do that? Sure, okay. Uh, yeah, there's no harm in being careful. No. There's your key, slot number 32, and there's your credit card, sir. Okay. This is unbelievably kind of you. I don't know what to say. Don't worry about it. We're all just trying to get home. That's right. Okay, give me a hug. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Now you get to go home and see your mom, just like I'm going to go home and see my little boys. And I think that's the best Christmas gift we can ever get. Have fun. That was amazingly generous of you. It's your idea. All right, we're next. Car, one-way trip to Pine Valley, Pennsylvania, please. Ouch. What? What? Don't tell me there's no more cars. Just about. Only one left on the lot, but it's not outfitted for snow. No four-wheel drive, no chains, no studs. Well, I've driven in the snow before. We'll take it. Got to go over the mountains to get where you're going. I don't think you'll have the traction. Well, I gotta try. Gotta get this lady home for Christmas. How much further do you think? A couple of hours. Just you close your eyes, it'll wake you up when we get there. No, no, I'll stay up and keep you company. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna call Mom and see how the boys are doing. Great. Of course. Battery's dead. Do you see that thing? Watch out! Oh. What is it? Oh, I just can't shake this feeling. I'm sorry. Was that them you were talking to? No. I think that uh, the battery in their phone must have died and they're probably in the mountains or something and then and then that's a dead zone a dead don't say that word please look opal if it makes you feel any better I i'll call the highway patrol i'll have them you know watch out for them would you would you because i'm afraid if i did it i just wouldn't be able to keep myself from sounding like a crazy woman they'd probably send a car over here to pick me up no i, I i'll do it now good good because you know uh when I went up to get my jacket, I caught a minute of the news on TV and uh, that storm in Ohio. It's a doozy. Well, the 
The road is deserted, and without chains, we're not coming out of this ditch. No, at least we're not hurt. Thank God for that. <sighs> Zach, it, I mean, Christmas Eve is almost over. I mean, we're never going to make it home in time now. We'll just see it through till morning. And then what? And then we're going to flag somebody down. On Christmas Day? Who's going to be out driving? Snow plows, hopefully. Okay. So, what do we do now? Try to stay warm. Come on, we'll right. something. <laughs> hey, tell me, tell me a Christmas story. Okay. Yeah. There once was a beautiful princess who wanted nothing more for Christmas than to be with her boys. Well, she saw another woman in need, and she decided to give that woman the only car that was left at that four-wheel drive. Hmm. Did the princess make it back in time to see her boys for Christmas? Yes, she did. Best Christmas ever. Close your eyes.